The weighted glute bridge is an awesome way for runners to activate their glutes and hamstrings and really the whole posterior chain of their lower body. Uh, it's a great way where we can increase, we can add quite a lot of weight and we can really tax those specific muscles that we use kind of in the power phase of our running stride. When we run, a lot of that power when we're running forward comes from the push off action of extending the hip. So all that power comes from our glutes and it comes from our hamstrings. So by increasing the strength in these areas, we're really gonna power up our running stride and make ourselves more effective, especially when we're running faster or if we're running uphill. Let's take a look at how to do it. To set up for a hip thrust, there's a couple things that you're gonna need. Number one, you're gonna have to have a bench and number two, you're gonna need a bar with some weight on it. Um, so the most important thing here is when you set your bench up, you wanna make sure that when you've got all this weight on you and you're pushing into it, that the bench can't slide anywhere. So you can see here, I've got the bench kind of in the squat rack pushed all the way up against the wall. Um, you can do the same thing with the bench horizontally against the edge of a squat rack or against a wall, whatever it is. You just wanna make sure that, that bench is nice and solid and it's not gonna go anywhere. So once I've got my bench in place, it's all set. Next up is loading up the bar. So you're gonna take just a regular Olympic bar. You'll put uh, however much weight you want on each side. Uh, and the other thing to remember here is you wanna make sure that you use your bar clips. Um, so you've got those on right here. That's gonna add just an element of safety, making sure that those weights aren't gonna shift as you pick the weight up and do the exercise. Once you've got your weight uh, loaded up with the rack on the floor and you've got uh, your bench in place, you're ready to get started. The trickiest part about doing the hip thrust is actually getting the bar onto your body and getting all set up for the exercise. So what I like to do is I put kind of the, the top of my back here into the bench so that I'm nice and supported and I squish my legs to the ground as low as I can and that should allow me to slide that weight all the way back on top of my hips. If your legs are a little bigger, if you're using a smaller bar setup or anything like that, it can be a little bit trickier but you just need to kind of walk that weight over and get it over top of your hips. The next most important thing is you wanna make sure that you've got that weight centered um, on the bar. If you've got the bar off to one side, it's gonna tip and it's gonna be a lot harder to do that exercise. So I just line myself up nice and centered between um, the two marks on the bar here, and I'm gonna get my legs all ready to go. So I'm gonna get my feet firmly planted. I've got my back against the bench here, and I've essentially got that bar sitting just in the crease of my hips. From here, I'm gonna make sure most of my weight is in my heels because I want uh, my hamstrings and glutes to do the majority of the lifting here. And then my first little bit is just kind of getting my butt off the ground, getting into position, and then I can actually begin my first rep of the exercise. So I've got my back in place, feet are nice and grounded, hands are on the bar just to add a little bit of stability. From here, I'm gonna think about squeezing with my butt and pushing my heels down into the ground. And that's gonna lift uh, the first little bit of the bar off the ground and then once I'm set, I can start to go through my reps. So from here, I'm gonna lift myself up and this is gonna be my starting position. So my butt's maybe an inch or two off the ground. I've got, I could let go if I wanted to, but I've got that, uh, that bar set in place here. I'm gonna keep a nice neutral neck in this position here. And then from this point, I'm pushing through my heels, squeezing with my butt, extending that hip up, and then dropping down nice and controlled. Extending up and then dropping myself back down. When I'm finished, I like to set my hands on the floor, keep that bar balanced, and then I can use my triceps and my arms to just slowly lower myself down. Then I can cross my legs and I can slide myself back out from underneath the bar. To increase your difficulty on this, you're gonna to wanna to add somewhere between five and 10 pounds on each side. And just keep in mind, because you're using a bar with weight on both sides, um, you need to add weight to both sides. So if you increase by five on one side, you have to add a five on the other side, so that's actually gonna be a 10 pound jump. And so your glutes and hamstrings are a fairly strong muscle groups, so you can make those bigger jumps, um, but it's up to you in terms of how much you do make that increase by. But five to 10 pounds is the perfect way to go. The one modification you can make to this exercise is if you find if you're just using a straight bar, um, sometimes it can push into your hips and it can be a little bit uncomfortable. So you can use some type of a bar pad to make this just a little bit nicer on your hips. Um, so you can use an actual uh, barbell pad like this one uh, that just, kind of clips onto the bar, holds itself in place and kind of cushions you that way. But the other thing you can do is you can take a pillow, a cushion, anything that's gonna be nice and soft, even like a rolled up gym towel, set it across your hips and that's just gonna add a little bit extra element of comfort uh, to the exercise. The alternative you have to this is if you don't have a bar with weight on it, you can use something like a kettlebell, a weight plate or even a heavy dumbbell to add some load onto this exercise. The idea is the exact same. You're gonna set yourself up on the bench in the exact same position. 
And instead of having the bar adding that weight, you're just gonna take uh, your kettlebell or whatever it is, you're gonna hold that in place and you're gonna add that weight just kind of onto the top of your pelvis here. Same thing, you'll go through that same range of motion and you'll be able to do the exercise that way. If you don't have a bench and if you don't have a weight like this, you can also just do a weighted, or sorry, a body weight glute bridge on the ground. You could do a single or a double leg uh, and that's gonna be the exact same motion, you just don't have the ability to add quite as much weight if you do it that way.